Hello and welcome to Be Open. We're hurrying out to qualifying here because I'm a little late. <laughs> got to the chair a little late and uh, don't want to miss out on qualifying. We got three minutes so we should be just fine. I have not done this combo before so this should be pretty fun. Rockingham's a great track. I'm just hoping we have a nice clean race because it is quite tough as well. Gotta try to focus here. Qualifying. Trying to undergrow that. But that wasn't so bad. Actually gonna take a little bit of a higher line in three and four since the tires are cold. One more lap. And hey, that actually worked out pretty well. Trying not to underdrive it this time. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. Get some grip off the corner. That's an optimal sector. Drive it in there hard. Cut the apron. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. 24-0. P3. Alright. Glad I got on out here. Hey, that's really close, too, to the top. We we're just running the OSR free setup that was thankfully available here on Monday night. We're ahead of some fast people. I don't know exactly how I want to approach tire saving because, of course, tire saving is going to be very important at Rockingham, as it always is. So I'm going to have to kind of uh, take a look at what people around me are doing and try to match their pace, I think. Um... You know, when you got 7.2 KI rating guys around you, you figure they probably know how to be there at the end. So I figure, uh, probably try to f do what they're doing a little bit. So P3 would be nice. I definitely was able to pull that off pretty well. That was much better than my previous best lap, I think. I noticed we did have cloud cover. That might have helped me out, too. So, that might have uh, given me a little bit of bonus grip that other guys didn't have. That might have been able why, been, uh, why I was able to uh, grip it up decently well. But starting position is not going to matter if I fall like a rock when my tires die. So, I'm really going to try not to let that happen. I've got the brake bias all the way down to 60. So I have to be careful not to get on the brakes too hard. But I really want to be able to get the car turning with the brakes if I can. Get the car turning with the brakes, let the banking carry me pretty well. Keep the wheel straight as possible. And hopefully, uh... Hopefully we won't fall off real bad. We got the number 6 and a 3.4k strength of field. That's the end of the My eye rating has taken some hits today. First two races, I've gotten black flags for reasons I don't think were very fair, but reasons that are typical on eye racing. So, very bad co couple of first races, unfortunately. Didn't go too well. So, let's hope we get a little bit better luck here at Rockingham. No black flags. You'll be lining up on the we'll see about that though, especially if we have to do green flag pit stops. It's kind of a tough pit road to get onto, because it makes you really want to push. Because you got a little bit of room before you have to start getting into the pits. But it's very easy to overdo it too. So you got to find that balance. I'll look around me, see who we got out here. Bunch of A licenses, as one would expect. Lots of fast guys here. I believe this is the second race of the week here in B Open. We don't have that data. The Chief's ready to give me that data <laughs> when necessary. Well, probably if this does go green, which I'm not so sure it will, this can be a pretty treacherous track. But if it does go green, 
Might try to come in, be a lap or two before lap 55, try a bit of an undercut. Maybe, maybe not. We'll react to uh, when other guys are pitting around us too. We'll see how the tires are feeling too. Uh, that'll also there are three additional sets of tires change how I plan to run it. Run. If I feel like I overdrove the first half of the race and I can improve on it the next half, then that'll be a reason to come in a little earlier. Follow car number zero four in the inside lane. So I can do better the second half of the race. What gear are we starting in? First gear. Might be first gear. Yeah, it's first gear. Hopefully that's not a mistake. But it seems like you get a much better launch. Sticking it in first gear. Just gotta be careful not to uh, slam the throttle too hard. And make sure that I shift, because <laughs> it seems like it will be pretty quick. Very nice starting spot, though, right behind the leader. Best seat in the house to get a jump. I think I hear first gear around me. Take it. Some momentum on our outside to watch out for. Looks like that outside lane's got a lot of momentum. And he's just going to run into that guy. Wow, that was very close to being a wreck. Trying to remember to save tires, even though it's real intense near me. Mike, how are you, buddy? Leader is just high. Twenty-four point seven. The car in front is just done a twenty-five point zero. Ooh. Hey, get the run off. That's fine. P six. I kind of just want to be single file if I can get there. Much easier to save tires in that situation. Oh, hit some bumps real bad. That's okay. Get the cut down. Wrecking. Or... Yeah. Unfortunately, not too surprising there. It's pretty tough here. Dude, I've never, ever been near a drive that bad for that many laps. I was not cutting in another bit. Sorry for the yellow, but three times is enough for me. It's fine. You got loads. Saying we're good on fuel, that can't be right. Dude, lap one of them was planting a fan to get to the inside of drive to the apron. Get to the inside of drive to the apron. That was it. Got loads of fuel. Yeah, I've been watching this beginning of that the last few laps also. I don't believe that we're good on fuel. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that still. I'm surprised they didn't come earlier, to be honest. We'll save some, see what we can do. See how this changes. Pit road is closed. Oh, wow, that added a whole lot. You got loads of fuel. I don't know, maybe we are good on fuel if we're uh, saving some here. I mean, longer runs, we're obviously going to be off the throttle more. Tough to say. But I think it's probably not perfectly calibrated yet. We'll have to keep an eye on it. Still too early to pit, though. We only got uh, three sets of tires, and we're, re we're really going to want those. 
That's what I'm trying to say. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to fix something. We're gonna be on the outside this time. It seemed like the outside was probably the place to be. Pretty quick caution, I like that. We're already going one to green. One left to green. You're on the outside. Very cool. Kind of want to see if we're getting any extra tire spin now. Seems like it's okay. Use a little fuel doing that, but I would rather not spin out on throttle on the restart, if possible. We lost a couple spots, but uh, I kind of expected that. I feel like I outqualified myself a little bit. And, uh,. I'm just trying to be extra careful for long run tire saving. Trying to do what I feel is necessary. Get ready, going green. Post car is off, time to do your job. Going, if somebody is. Green flag, green flag. A little bit of tire spin once we started going a little bit. Outside lane, so much more momentum. Keep high. Keep high. You're inside. You're in fifth. Clear. Car inside. Stay high. Clear. Give him room down there. A little loose on entry, gotta be careful. It really likes to get sideways on uh, the entry three if you're not careful. Good to get that turn in, but it's definitely uh, such thing as too much of a good thing. <sighs> but fortunately, we're not getting green lamps. 15 did it again. 15's wrecking, I guess. Who are we talking about here? I think they're the purpose. We're under caution. Pits are closed. Oh, it was definitely on purpose. Yeah, it sounds like the 15 is wrecking the 7 on purpose. He was running the bottom and then cranked it right in the middle of 3 and 4. I was behind it. I witnessed it. It was horrific. That sounds more accurate. 6.9 gallons. That's more of what I was expecting to hear. Still not coming in. Haven't done enough. Seven gallons. We're definitely not going to be able to save that much, so let's keep the track position for now. We'll try to save some fuel. Oh, we got a couple guys going in. Okay. We haven't hardly done any green laps, so not so interested in doing that. But I kind of want to do a second gear start this time, to be honest with you. That first gear start was concerning. Man, you just get such a launch from first gear, though. Ah, second gear should be fine, right? I just, I really did not like how it felt. Right around when I was shifting, it, it got real unsettled, and... Not really wanting to risk that so much, so hopefully we'll be okay just doing second gear. What am I doing? Save some fuel. 6.8 gallons. 6.8. If we were to fill the tank now with another 2 gallons or so, still be 4.8 short-ish. One to go. Next time by. If we get a decently good run, it would be time to pit just so we can get it full of fuel. 
well, to get tires too, of course, but uh, definitely will want to pit if we can make it to the end. So hopefully we'll be able to get a good jump here with our good view of the leader. And it won't be so bad if we uh, start in second gear. About to go green, stay focused. All right. Oh yeah, that was just fine. All right, get single file. I like it. Keep the wheels straight. Don't hit the wall, though. You've just done a point by point act. Trying to do the cut down, thinking I have the corner. This five really wants to stick the nose under me, though. Really wish he wasn't doing that. I'm just trying to be good to the tires right now. And he really wants P3. Pass for the lead, maybe. Tension me a little bit. It's fine. We'll leave the lane open up there. Don't see any reason not to. Overdriving it a little. Don't want to do too much of this. Hey, I just I want some room. So I can be confident in the line I'm taking. Oh, 13 getting sideways on entry, that's not going to be good for his tires. And he's blinking. Also not great for anybody involved. P2 though, feeling good. Get on the right rear a little bit. If I can do that cut down on exit. Don't know if it's yawing out quite enough though. Routine's kind of weaving back and forth a little bit. A little all over the place. I think he's not going to be great on tire saving. What a fun track though. This place is great. Alright, alright, 22, we've got to go. Thank you, present. I like that it's getting spread out a little bit. Big fan of that. Hold up a little bit of 13 there, not too bad though. Okay, now I'm held up really bad. Come on, let's go now. And he's blinking. And he's blinking. I hate this man. No, I mean like I hate this, comma man. I don't mean I hate this man. I don't know this man. <laughs> I don't even know if he's a man. He could be a younger boy. I do not know this guy. Of indeterminate age. We need to get by him. He is holding me up. Uh, 
Slides up near the exit. Outside is clear. You're in first. You're now in the lead. That last light was a new leader. Let's see how long we can keep it. Did hear my uh, crew chief whine about uh, the temperature a little bit. Engine temps. So I'm going to go ahead and do this just in case. I don't think there's going to be any problems, but I would like to know about it if there are going to be. I imagine we're probably overdriving a little bit. Trying not to. I imagine we probably are. <laughs> so, I'll try not to. Oh. Do Car was feeling fine, but it might be time to get fuel. Yeah, it might be time. We might be able to save enough fuel from here. Time to get a set. We'll see what the tires say. We might have to adjust what we're doing based on that. Catch the pace car. Pete Road is now open. Okay, it's we're gonna come in. Make sure everything's checked. Okay. Definitely have to pit though, because I think we might be able to save enough if it goes green to the end here. Speed limit is 40 miles per hour. Okay. Seems like we got just about everyone coming in. That's good. Let's see if we can get off pit road in the same spot. Everyone's cutting the inside. I wasn't going to do it, but if everyone else is going to do it, I'm not losing the lead because of it. 96.94. I love it. That's great. Very big fan of that. So I guess we'll keep doing what we're doing. Maybe even be easier on exit if it's going to be like that. Go, go, go! We have a non-pitter, but they did pit on lap 12, so that's understandable. They must have been sliding around in a wreck, so they needed to take tires back then. Gotta save a little bit of fuel. Pits are open. Unfortunately, carried a little bit too much speed. Letter seven, carbide. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. One left to green. Line up on the. Fortunately, we'll be we'll be P two again. Have to watch out for this seven. Might even have damage because he's been in bit of trouble earlier. Don't know if he's going to have some tire spin or anything. I confused the 4 car with the 7 car. I thought I was beside him and I wasn't. Because <laughs> they're both just solid black cars. Almost solid black. So he's definitely hoping for another caution because he can't make it on fuel to the end for... There's no chance. We are one gallon short, but that should be savable. Potentially. I'm going to do first gear again. Now that our tires are fresh. About to go green. Stay focused. Pretty good. Pretty good. Been a while since I've been in the car is off. Yeah, he's race during the day. Green flag. Green flag. The next car is the leader. I'd be a second gear start all the time, and I've just been uh, a fool. Inside, clear inside. Not enough space to make that happen. I'm not trying to get in a wreck. P3. 
two. Huh, not good enough of a run. Back in the back, Rich. He's leaving the door open on the bottom, kind of. Hey, cool. And I'm sorry for dropping you right there. I'm just trying to figure out how to hold it on the bottom. You just love sticking your nose into everyone, don't you? Oh, uh, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> I didn't want to force anything, cause a wreck, so no big deal. You'll be all right. Hold through your 7.2k if I go through you. Guy trying to start an argument. <laughs> yeah, I accidentally used up my set of rights early on after getting wrecked, so just trying to manage it now. Pete Road is closed right now. Jake Sylvia is just a non- I figured that's what happened. That's on me. Sorry, whoever I hit. I tried locking it down, but... I knew if I just locked the brakes up in the middle of the track, it's gonna cause a huge one. We're fine, though. I wasn't, uh, just gonna... Absolutely blast his doors off or anything. Although maybe no, I should just get around him and then start saving. That might be what I have to do this next time. Yeah, just go around the outside and then start saving. Ricky, too. I don't mean the tap door. That actually might be safer in the end. So maybe that's what I'll do this time. But I wasn't too concerned because I'm still trying to save tire at this point. Zero point seven. Oh yeah, big ten four on that. I hear you. I was. I don't know. I had a little run. I just didn't know where to go with it. So, long race. John, that's a good-looking paint. I like it. It's still being kind of friendly, despite some uh, issues already. Well, Usually they're all so yelling at each other by now. Green. There's still time. I was just telling you I like that paint. good-looking paint. Feeling really oh, good, yeah. though. Yeah, like Set's feeling all right. I feel like I'm yeah. able to save tire, so long as I... Try to keep the wheel straight, not overdrive the corners, all that good stuff. Just because Jake has a big nose doesn't mean like whatever. He just happens to be a hack. Do second gear again, I guess. I don't know. I can't figure out these starts, these restarts. Just think, he's a second split RTP driver. 22 cars in second split, so not even a good one. Dead thing, I can run the track. Stronger front for you to use. Get ready exactly. To trying to get him in my mirror so I can see him better. I have to know. I think you want to do second gear, maybe. Car inside. Clear. Necessarily want to do this, but get around him now. We can focus on the safe entire thing. All right. Back to the lead, get some more laps of red, maybe? I hit the bump awkward in the one washed up. No, you're fine, man. Hey. How we doing? The quickest right now. Quickest right now, that tells me to slow down. <laughs> Theoretically, that's a good thing, but... Uh, that also means I'm probably being pretty hard on my tires, so... Back it down just a smidge. Pretty close to that yellow line. Probably want to get a little away from that. New fastest lap for right, 24.3. And again, we were on the right rear before. I'm doing okay. 
That stuff tends to switch over after a while, though. One minute you're on the right rear, and then uh, when you start getting longer on, it starts getting on the right front more, and then it switches. So I do have to keep that in mind. Man, it's nice having this view in front of me, though. Not much to see, not having to worry about someone wrecking in front of me or something. So uh, there is a little bit of that going on at the moment. Shout out to OSR, they've got a decent Very setup. Good. trying to be consistent. Get session last lap right around 0, 0.00. If we can. The guy behind's catching a bit. You've just done it, Love to keep the track position if possible. What a fun track though. I just can't overstate that. It's just fun to drive. Multi, it's essentially multi-groove with how the banking works here. Like you can run the high line, you can run low. Probably worse on the tires to run high line, unfortunately. But if you need to make a pass, you can get a run, and it's just it's real fun letting the banking carry you through the corners. And uh, kind of doing almost diamond line you can do. It's good stuff. Your point four gallons. I think we'll be able to save that even just with natural tire fall off. So I don't even think we're gonna need to make a special Actually, effort. Thank you, man. I'm just trying. Thank you. Oh, I'll go both. <laughs> the guy that uh, was in the lead earlier. Appreciate it. That was kind of squirrely. That thirteen is uh, getting called out by name. So maybe he's being squirrely while also side by side with people. And uh, people aren't so happy about that. That's just a guess, but seems like he's not making too many friends. Four has picked up his pace just a smidge. Gonna just try to run only as hard as I need to. Gonna focus on trying to keep the wheel straight and everything. But I don't necessarily want to get up give up P1 here. It's a very comfortable place to be. What are you doing? You're far at the bottom of the dirt. Whatever I'm doing, I burn the bottom of the fucking lava shower. Great run out of the corner there. Sorry, this guy. Now you're thinking about that. Okay, Colton. Your water temperature looks quite high. Hey, John, just in case you're curious, uh, the water... a little bit of complaint about the water temperature again. Still okay. Still yeah. got it down there, so I can keep an eye on it. Side by side back there, I like to see that. I want to see as much of that as possible. So then they can't take uh, lines that are good on the tires. I'm trying, John. Yeah, I'm trying. Battling's only going to make them slower and be harder on the tires. So the four being able to hold them off there, really like to see that. So I want that nine to keep trying to pass. And he actually did it that time. I think the guy let him go. And that was a silent thank you. I can't tell where his car is. So this is going to be a guy that might be trying to come up here. I'm hoping that he's doing that while being harder on the tires. He's not actually going to be able to get it done. 13, I just got to tell you, I can't see where your no, car is. It's just so much, so... Hmm. Yeah, he's going to want to pass, I think. And it might be a I fight that we just are better off I gotta, I gotta not uh, participating in. 
and make him earn it. In fact, that he's gotta actually make a pass. But. Inside. Still there. Clear. Fight too hard. Oh, caution came out at just the right time. Pit road is closed right now. Pass up nine. Look at that coming. You guys go there, Mike. Line up single file. Woo! Nah, I got clipped. Pits are closed. Well, we got a big wreck. It looks like. Handful right of people side. involved. Right side. Goodbye. Make sure I'm not coming around the bend to a uh, roadblock, okay, really. Careful. Yeah, you got a, you got a little bit in the right rear and in the back a little. I think it's too early. I got a question. If I'm lucky, though, can I go ahead up there and get behind the base car and wait? Yes. All right, lucky dogs, I'm gonna come high, guys. That's a pretty good thing yeah, to do, yeah, honestly. Well, farts. Everybody went. Car 14, got the lucky dog, let them pass on the outside. Let them I didn't really want to use my tires yet. So I guess we're going to sit in the back. We're going to come down pit road, take some fuel, but not take tires. Maybe it was a dumb decision, but I mean, we're not even halfway yet. So I don't want to use two thirds of my tires before halfway. You know what I'm saying? There's been enough cautions. Are open. I'm not sure what the 16 story is. He pit a little bit after me, but I'm just going to the back, so I'm not a roadblock. Watch your speed. You got plenty of fuel. I gotta go. I can't pit. I gotta let the engines around. Yeah. Off. Leaders on all tires, I only have one set left. Uh, I'm not gonna race any of you guys too hard up here. That could easily be an instant caution, too. Probably should have pitted. Five. Not for tires, but just uh, to get over here. One. Right here. Yeah. yeah. That's how you get killed, my guy. Yeah. Move it, move it. Hey, I didn't get killed. His tires yeah, not quite so old. Yeah, on way they want you some things they are anyway. I wasn't even paying attention. I'm such an idiot. I exited a closed pit. I do too. I don't believe in Jake Sylvia. Did I really just get a another black flag today? I have no room to talk. I ruined people's race already. Jenkins, did you wreck I can't read, I guess. I just wasn't even thinking. I was thinking about what this restart's gonna look like. I'm the one who got into the back of you and you're trying to save it. I was on the brake, but when you got into the wall, you slowed your car down so much. I just did this way down and down. Oh boy. I'm so sorry. The guy that helps me the most, I tear his res in his car. Well, I don't know if this is gonna be stop and go penalty or what it happened i was just surprised you were loose like we're not going to take service so that way if it is in the discord it's room. minimal pretty tight so. yeah but it was i had never had a kick off both times like that and it was weird but i made an adjustment so i just went back i think i went too much are we i mean we're, we're three for three today on black flags i am just a rule breaker I thought I had it, but I didn't want to lock it down because I knew you guys were coming behind me, and then it would. Don't forget old tires up front. Long way to go. Pipe car is off. Green, 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 green. Let's go. Okay, phew, we're good. We don't have to do a stop and go. Slow car down low. Go high. Car outside. Your fuel is fine. P17. Keep low. 
Still there. Clear. Okay. Just being gentle. That guy's got damage. Car outside. Outside is clear. I've lost all faith in Isaac. Okay, we're halfway to the finish. Damn, I think you gotta at least go on the three star boat. The next car is Cook. Jesus Christ. What's happening up I there? I don't know where I am. Blew up on the back stretch. I'm on the apron. Just a moment. Keep pulling away. Outside. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Well, it's pretty hard to laugh. Make three laps. 15th place. That one was there. 25.4. Yeah, I'll get through that. I think you did that at the beginning. Not of the all that slow, to be honest. Doesn't feel like it. I mean, we're passing people. Uh oh. Smoke. Okay, we're fine. Driving real gently for now. Being extra nice to the tires since I am on an older set than pretty much everybody. Oh, there's a guy getting sideways in the corner. Very surprised that we're not really all that off pace on older tires. Ooh, some bumps pretty bad there though. Make a pass. Potentially. Oh my god, he's coming up. He's sliding. Almost getting into him. He is really loose. 15. Outside. And a guy that's getting really loose in the corner. Clear high. Okay, moving forward a little bit. We're counting on more cautions though. Just, I didn't want to take my second to last set of tires so soon. Not at a track where tires matter so much. I didn't know everybody was going to pit though, either. More smoke. Really slow. Not sure what's going on. Car outside. Still there, hold your line. Clear outside if you want it. I'm following this 20 forward. P13, your water temperature looks quite high. Said about the water temperature again. I think that'll be okay. I obviously have a big gap between 12th place and 11th. Maybe these guys are on older tires too, I don't know. But Going a lap down would be bad. I hope that's not an option. It's the apron. Outside. Backs off. Thank you. Silent. Welcome. <laughs> P 
Well, it might not have been the right call, but we are still in. Twelfth, and we have people threatening to wreck their people. I wouldn't mind. So for our strategy to work, we do need them to stay green long enough that they need tires the next time as well. I guess that was pretty far-fetched. I guess a couple things would have needed to go my way in order for the strategy to really make sense. I'm just really bad at making these calls. It's not the first time and not the last time I'll probably make a bad decision. It's just, you know, I don't know if uh, I'd become the only person that pits that time, you know, and... Then I'm short one set of tires and all the way in the back. It's not a good situation either. Guess they're probably gonna go green all the way into the now, aren't they? That's how it always works. Holding it about six seconds in front, 0.6 behind. Have they decided to stop wrecking? That might be what has started happening. On exit. Your last lap time was at 25.6. I'm having trouble getting grip mid corner now. Wiggly? <laughs> That's okay though. Really starting to show tire wear. The age of the tires is really starting to show. Take this higher line now. And the tires are starting to wear. How's it feel in this corner? Yeah, maybe I'll do it turn one and two. And stay low three and four. Okay. Okay, Colton. The next car is brown. Good consistency. Keep them coming. Thirteen. The next car in front of us now. No, his blinking glory. You're batting the lane for the lead. Oh, I hit the apron. That's a horrible spot to hit the apron. Shot me toward the wall. That was terrible. Not what I want to be doing there. That was a uh, 25.9. You 
just done a 25 point eight. Well, they sure are being clean. Not sure if uh, this ended up working out for us. That's unfortunate. Still uh, get another caution and then just be in 12th with fresh tires along with everybody else. So, caution would still help me, but I don't know if the strategy of having an extra set of tires is going to be much for me. Thank you, Joseph. Good job, Captain. Somebody's upset. What do you do? I mean, car high, bud. I don't know how much track you needed. 13 still causing problems. I guess. I haven't I mean, seen it myself, but a lot of people were yelling at him. They almost wrecked in two. You damn near wrote me off in three and four. Okay. Or did they say 12? Highly doubt John meant to do it. I highly doubt John meant to do that for him. Boomers, all of them. Hmm. <laughs> much to do now. It kind of got boring, unfortunately. We went from the lead to uh, doing something stupid strategy-wise, as I always do. That lap time was 25.7. The gap behind is now 1.1. That stinks. Hey, Holter, can you just, like, pull you? It's not lapped. I don't know how close they are, but uh, it has not happened yet. <laughs> so that's good news. Guess I should have expected it to go green after that. It didn't look like it was being a very clean race all up until that point. Might be catching the 13. Haven't really been paying too much attention to his uh, gap in front of us. Let's see. It's at about four seconds. Start finish line there. That last lap was at 25.9. Tight nearly under the wall. But we did still gain on the 13 a little bit, even though I had a bad corner. So, that's good to know. The 16 is catching us, unfortunately. I wish I knew how to be smart and do strategies right. I swear. I over I overthink everything. I need to just start being like, are my tires worn? Let's get some tires. Because apparently, that's what I should be doing. Alright. 
Yep, just drifted out of the corner. That's cool. Sixteen's coming pretty fast. That sucks. The lap time was at 26.0. Okay, Colton, the lap times are pretty consistent. Down 13th here in a moment. Gonna put still there at the bottom. It's nose there where it doesn't belong. Trying to take my line as I normally do. I even left a little bit of room and still drove right points. into me. You're obviously better on tires. I would have even let you go if you just waited one corner, but okay. Lap down sucks. I wish I wasn't garbage. Your last lap time was at twenty six point one. Uh, I don't want to go lap down. Catch me so quickly, though. You've just done it, twenty six point one. What's happening here? Bye. Caution before he gets past the next guy, please. Maybe. Is it possible? Sure, there's not even going to be a caution. I was in the lead. <sighs> Threw it away. I don't know what's wrong with me. Now we're going to get past for 13th, too. It's the 13 going. So I'll smoke in the 13 losing time. I guess he just got loose on exit, maybe. Ten to go. This time by. Yes, sir. I'm so mad at myself. This always happens. I just do the worst possible thing all the time. Teens like getting loose in front of the leader, it looks like up there. You've just done twenty six point three. 
Amen. Can I at least hold on to 13th? Guess that's all we have to fight for now. I don't think I was gonna win it. I don't think I had long run speed, but I would have I would have been in a much better place than I am now. That's for sure. This thing's getting real loose now. Catching a 13 is basically sliding through every corner. It's like now if they wreck each other, no, never mind. <laughs> I was like, are these the only two guys that are in a better spot than me for the lucky dog? And no, there. We're getting richer. The guy in front is now 0.7. Push, 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 push. Get Fighting real hard for the. What is that, 11th? It's like blocking for 11th, really? When he's clearly way off the pace. There's a butt to pop. Ooh, Xfinity Wiggle puts him in the wall. Getting really loose off the corner now. Get around to my outside. There's one spot back at least. And he gets turned back there, it looks like. Is it going to be caution? That's not a very nice thing to do there, Grant. Black flag, so there will be no caution. Flag, last lap. That was, uh, Your water temperature looks quite high. Cup times are pretty consistent. Yeah, here. Inside. <laughs> Did we get him? No, nothing but disappointment like the rest of this race. Bring it back to the pits. We're going. Twelfth. <sighs> yeah, sorry, Mike. I didn't mean to do that. It's late in the run. I, I've had better than both of them. I apologize. All good. Well, I've got two sets of tires. I'm sure glad I saved those. I'm a freaking idiot. Oh, he downshifted. Uh, it's well. I don't know what the hell happened after the race. I'm sorry if that counted. I was just trying to follow him. 41 to 45. Going down and then he got in the wall. I don't know what he did. Not even that bad, but... Oh, you're good, man. Sorry I put the bumper to you. I really didn't mean to. They were fighting hard. I almost got them both. Oh, yeah, good. I had 37% left in the right front. Jesus, 14. On in that run. I was having a downshift just to try to keep it out there. Well, at least we had a 0x, and it was a strong field, so it's not the worst in the world. Still just mid-pack. I just I feel like you could have done so much better. I mean, we led laps in this race. Like, I at least had top five speed, well, I think, that, right? I, I mean, I don't know how the car falls off later, but I was feeling so good. I just threw it away. That's how it goes sometimes, I guess. Or all the time, if you're me, and uh, need to make a pit decision. I, need to, I really need to just start doing the opposite of what I initially think I need to do. So, lap one. It's kind of weird. 
It looked like the seven turned down into him, but it looked like really strange. <laughs> like he was being pulled over there. Maybe some weird netcode thing. I don't know. That was kind of weird. Not sure what we're seeing here. Not much, really. Can I open the wall over there? And ooh, they got really close. Three wide on exit. The 30 or the 15 is getting loose. Seven almost spins him. We're not like stuck on the seven, are we? Okay, that time he came up and got him. Looks like. 23 up the track. Looks like he was not getting the turn he needed in the corner because of the bumps. Nine, maybe a pretend tap. Oh, 15 gets loose and has to chase it up the track into the seven. He does a good job of locking it down. I don't know if that brought a caution out for him, though. Oh. Well, whatever that is did, I think. What happened to him? I didn't, we didn't get to see what happened to the 15 here. So let's rewind that and see how he ended in the infield grass. Okay, so he gets loose, chases it up, catches it, and then the 11 just turns him? That was kind of weird. Uh, that looked like he did it on purpose, but I doubt he did. Doesn't it look like he turned to the right? And it could have just been another loose moment or something, but either way, caution's out. Seven on the apron for some reason. Into the back of the 18. Sorry, I was lost in thought. <laughs> Thinking about well, this one that got away. Man, there's me up in second as these guys uh, kind of get bumpers. Rainbow car loose on exit, trying to catch it. Can't catch it. Two gets in the back of him. He's all over the place. Tries to get down the track. It's all over, and then we got a couple people piling in. That's frustrating. Ugh. And Rainbow Car goes into the pits of shame. 23 has got that thing riding too low or something. It's like those bumps are just shoving him up the track like he's bottoming out or something. That's interesting. Or he could have just been really tight, like this guy is, getting under the wall. 17, we haven't seen yet. It's the 15 going all over the place. I think the 15 just got loose there. And then had to chase it down the apron, comes up the track, right into the path of the 17. 15 didn't really have a good handle on it. What's he gonna do now? Wall on entry. Almost wall on center. Not much going on there. Well, these cars really get unsettled if you start hitting the wall. I mean, they're already kind of wiggly on the straightaways. Ooh. I think the 19 was trying to file in behind the 21, maybe even letting him go there, but he just misjudged it, and that probably ruined both of their day, their days. 15 blinking. We saw some of that ourselves. It's the 15 blinking as well. No, I don't know what's happening there. Thing three wide. Ooh, <laughs> it's tight. They all, they all kind of make it though. Only two blows his engine. The damage got the best of him there. Here's post terrible decision by me. 
in a rear ending way in the back. I'm pretty sure that the uh, these guys aren't even, aren't even on the same lap, are they? No, they are. Kick out the wall, too, by the way. Two, not getting turned out of this car. It might be a damage, making that hard to, harder to drive. Wow, 23 drives in really hard. Almost gets in the back of the 15. Side by side into one. 12, not able to stick it. Drifts up into the 11. That's easy to do here at Rockingham. It's It can be pretty difficult to enter low into turn one and keep it on the bottom. 21's missing some parts. He's going to introduce some of them to the wall. Put in the wall. Two's going to get the wall again, it looks like. Let's keep it moving. A few too many wall hits. Is he going to bounce off here, though? Yep, right into the bat of the 21. 15's had a rough race, too. 12, not sticking at all. That's the second time he's done that to the 11. Not been able to stick it on the bottom. I don't know why we're seeing this. There's a 16, catching me to pass me. Still does it despite hitting the wall on the straightaway. So he gets into the 11 just a bit. 16, fighting hard, trying to catch me. Includes hitting the wall on the straightaway again, I guess. What did I do? Oh yeah, we got, we got together here. Oh, that was pretty prediction, Cody. I mean, I'm trying to take my line as normal here. And then 16 sticks his nose down there. Now I have to readjust my corner. And then that's just massive net code. I don't think that happens otherwise. Is he from somewhere far away? Carolina, that's not that bad. It wasn't an X or anything, but I don't know if that happens without that net code. That's a pretty decent chunk of space between us. So he gets past me. It's fine. It was, it was going to happen anyway. 21 blowing his engine, it looks like. Wow. That code in full force today starts that chain reaction. 12 gets the worst of it. I need doing something. Seven doing. Is that shifting? Huh. Didn't even think to try that. Sounded like he was shifting. But one's in the wall from third place. That's not going to help his race. It's about five to go. And now what happens? Net code again. Apparently the turn two net code's not so great. This is probably just one of my tires hitting a very low point. I think that's where it actually warned me about the tires. Probably about 50%. 16 making a habit out of that wall. 7 driving it way too hard. He might just be getting bored out there. Didn't look like he had many people to race. This is where these guys get together. 13, where is the 13 going? Like, where? Are you? He's like super slow through the corner. Like, first of all, he's like shifting and he gets sideways because he's shifting. And then he just like drifts all the way up the corner, touches the 17 and like half spins him. And then just continues on. That was maybe not the best way to take that corner. Especially right in front of who I think was the leader. 16 gets into the 7 on the last corner. I thought I had at least one of them. I really did. Ugh, just missed it. I thought I had at least one of them. I had a good corner, too. They both slowed each other down. I was, like, gonna try to really drive hard on that high side. Try to get all of it. Just not enough, just barely not enough. 
So we get 12th. Could have been so much more, but that's okay. Just made a, a bad decision, threw it away a little bit, but at least it was a 0x clean race. And uh, I know I had speed. Probably try to get on my own time. I feel like I've been saying that a lot lately, but see uh, what I can get out of it. But for now, that'll do it. Thanks for watching. Sorry to disappoint with my smooth brain <laughs> decisions, but that's racing sometimes, especially when you're me. And uh, that'll do it. Thanks for watching. See ya.